the kids are at school today, and uh, so I'm making sauerkraut. Now, this is a batch that, just a small batch that we made um, three or four weeks ago. You can see it looks like sauerkraut you'd buy in the store. And we actually have been buying sauerkraut for a number of months now. And it's actually really, really expensive. Um, gosh, $7 for a little little package. Maybe um, you know, a one pound package or something. Uh, it's delicious and amazing. And so that's why we, um, that's why, well, that's not why we pay that much. The real reason we pay that much is because it's super good for us. It's probiotic and we really benefit. We feel like we are a lot healthier because of the, the, the probiotics that are in it. Like yeah. The good bacteria, so it's good for our gut health. And I think everybody should develop a taste for, <laughs> for fermented foods. Um, when I eat it, I feel like I'm getting real, like really fed. Like, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, there's a... If My body like, craves it. Yeah, if you like sauerkraut on your hot dogs, um, then you'll love the real stuff. Because typically, the stuff you get on your hot dogs is not real per se, like it's, it's cabbage, and then they've added vinegar or maybe a little bit of sauerkraut juice, but this stuff is truly fermented. Um, and the only ingredients are, well, to make, oh, to make any sauerkraut is just shredded cabbage and salt, and the salt starts to uh, leach the juices out of the shredded cabbage, and so it's, it's fermenting in its own juice, and sometimes you add water just to cover the very top to keep it all under under the water so it go, undergoes anaerobic um, uh, fermentation so it, it needs to be under the water so that the air doesn't get to it and that's how it works and the um, the lactic uh, the lactic uh, it creates lactic acid through the, the bacteria that's already on the cabbage and any vegetable in your garden is going to have this on it but um, cabbage is the I guess the most popular to do it and we love it anyway so, um, where is that? It's delicious. Uh, one thing that's really cool about it is that based on what we've been paying at the store, you know, when we go to the organic market to, to buy this stuff. So this whole thing as it was when we started, it's probably worth 50 or $60. It's crazy. So that, this that's three gallon thing that we're doing is worth several hundred dollars. This is just today. We just did that in a couple, matter of minutes. Yeah, and this is gonna, as as the salt begins to work its magic on this, um, it's gonna go down even further. So we can probably fit uh, five or six heads, depends, depending on the size, into this. And again, it's worth a lot of money and uh, it's worth even more as a, as a preventative um, health, health benefit. No, uh, I don't want to say a cure all, but it, it certainly will prevent a lot of a lot of problems. So, is it still going? Did that? <laughs> that was my phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we just bought. We're super excited about this. So we've had this for a while, but we kind of um, uh, bought it with you know knowing that we were someday going to make sauerkraut, and we actually tried it a couple years ago. And we our first weren't batch, doing it right. <laughs> uh, it's not that we didn't do it right. I think it just must have gotten up. I think we let it dry out. A bad bacteria. Yeah. Something, yeah, something. Whatever happened, it just didn't work. And uh, we're excited that the stuff we make is as good as the expensive stuff that we buy at the store, if not better. So we, I've just just picked this cabbage and I've quartered it. And this is getting a little bit low, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the other quarter. This thing works so quickly, it's kind of scary. It's got, it's got three blades on it, so it goes really fast. So if you're looking for this um, piece of machinery, it's called a mandolin. It looks like a... Almost like a washboard, but a very dangerous one. <laughs> yeah, the three sharp blades. And as long as they keep on moving, it goes so fast. It's almost scary fast. So um, we've got our shredded cabbage. The next step is simply to add salt. We use this red one. Um, it's basically sea salt. It's been mined out of ancient ocean beds. Just sprinkle a little bit on there. 
basically it's it's um it's going to a little bit to taste. I mean, there is a, an exact um, a, you know, range that you need in there, but um, essentially, I, we just taste it afterwards. And if it needs more cabbage, we'll put more. And if it needs more salt, we'll put more. Basically, if it tastes good, and if it tastes kind of like like pickles or sauerkraut that you're used to, then you're well within the range. And for taste, we we like just garlic powder and dill. a little bit heavy on the garlic and it, once it ferments it's not as strong but it adds a nice flavor to it and plenty of, of dill gives it a nice pickle flavor it's really yummy essentially what this is just cabbage pickles is <laughs> kind of what it is this is more or less the way that you make real fermented pickles too in fact in that batch that's already done um, we have actually added some sliced cucumbers, and I think we'll do that this time too. Mostly because we want to use this mandolin on a cucumber. <laughs> yes, sounds fun. Are you gonna stick it in here? Yeah. We'll just hand chop this so we don't hurt ourselves. Okay, I've never done this on a mandolin. Let's see how fast it is. Super satisfying. <laughs> I can do it without the. Whoa, it's like gone. There it is. It's, you're like. Holy cow. Be careful. Can't cut the rest. Oh, that smells so good. And then just. You don't have to crush these up. There's gonna be so much liquid in there already. I'll just mix them in. And as the as the juices I'll get the mixture a little bit wetter. Oh goodness, it's still it's already um, pretty darn wet down at the bottom. So that's just cabbage juice. Yeah. That's amazing. And technically the fermentation process begins pretty quickly down in the parts that are totally wet. Thanks. It's already got the bacteria in it. And last time I did this, I went ahead and added just a little bit of the other juice. You don't have to do this at all. But just to kickstart it, make but, sure the yeah. good stuff's in there. Yeah, just make sure that there's a- Like the mother? A higher- Is that what you call it when you make vinegar? Yeah. <laughs> so a higher quantity of, of the good stuff versus whatever other uh, foreign- And you can- if you're wanting to make sure you've got the good bacteria, you can buy the live culture sauerkraut at your natural grocer or yeah. wherever you're... Yeah, that's, that's how we actually started that one. I just put a, essentially like a tablespoon in that whole thing. And that was... Because we were just swine. Billions and billions of little live um, active cultures. And, and they definitely started off quickly. So that was... Um, that batch only took about three days before it started tasting like kraut. And um, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned it, um, it's been going for about four weeks now. And it really can go pretty much forever. Um, traditionally, people would make a huge batch of, or batches of sauerkraut in the fall. And this would be a, um, a, basically their vitamins in their food um, throughout the winter. And uh, really keep them healthy through the, through the winter till spring. So we are very grateful that we now know how to do it that we've especially that we've had um a good batch to start us out we now know kind of how to how to do it how to ensure that it's going to be good with that starter and uh we're excited to to make a really valuable thing for our family both monetarily valuable and of course for our health which is the most important thing so um and cabbage like one of the easiest vegetables to grow it really is the green, <laughs> green cabbage grows really well for us and uh, ripens pretty early. And we also have purple cabbage. Um, this particular variety won't ripen until probably November for us, but um, so then we'll have a purple batch too, so that'll be fun. So yeah, go ahead and try it yourself. It's really, really easy. And if you guys have your favorite ingredients, put them in the comments. Cause I know somebody who adds caraway and um, I don't know, I'm sure there's plenty of other cool recipes I'd love to know about. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see ya.
bye.